For an older generation, I typically like um, the Kindle devices. I think they're great because they have Mayday um, support built in. So if they have a question, they could tap a little button at the top, a little Mayday, which is in this top, uh, top drawer in there. And then instantly they can get a person live support on the device that can help them walk, walk them through the different features and functionality. And they can access this 24-7. The so NVIDIA Shield tablet is also another really good tablet. If you want to get a really good experience and probably the best gaming experience out there, I'd probably go with that. And that's actually on the Android platform. So traditionally, Android are less expensive as far as devices go. Um, the Android devices, the reason it's, <coughs> it's less is because there's um, more manufacturers producing for them. As far as what version you should buy into, I would still say go with the latest. You're going to get the benefit of the new software, um, new different experience, which is this material-based design language with Google's introduced. Um, also, you'll always be able to um, update quicker to the next patch. Apple obviously has a premium that they tag on to the cost of their tablets. Um, I think it's worth paying that premium um, because, again, you're going to get a better overall experience across the board. These are definitely more pricier devices. They start at least about 500 bucks and go up from there. Um, they come in different variations of the size, 16, 64, and 128. If you remember from last year, they had a 32 gig model. They completely eliminated that, so you're stuck with those different options. I would not recommend getting the 16 gigabyte because there's no extendable storage here, so you can't expand it through an SD card. So I'd probably get at least the 64 gigabyte or the 128 gigabyte to give you enough room for all your movies and stuff that you're gonna be downloading.